morning and welcome to RTR TV hang on I've come to one of my favourite spots my old magic roundabout just going to have a good wander around it's really really overgrown now and there's a great canopy just saw a deer run across in front of me oh, I bought um Oh, it's a loud one. I bought the Trangia 27 out. I'm gonna have a cook up. Uh, thought just bought a tin of Irish stew, nothing too elaborate. Forgot the bread though. <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to get out for a bit. So let's find a nice spot. Quite close to the road on this bit. It does tend to get busy, this road. Yeah, do get people in here it seems. I mean, back there where I came in was so much rubbish, beer cans, cider cans, everywhere. Oh. Got, there is a reason why I came here today. Specifically. I'm thinking of doing a wild camp in here next week. Bringing my Miltech, <coughs> Miltech 1, and a camo net. But, it does seem to be quite a lot of activity on that side of it as is evident with all the beer cans, which weren't there last time I came here. And the last time I came here, I put the thing up. Um, so, yeah, I might have a look over that side, see if there's anywhere, because there's no pathways around this place at all. It's all just roads. So, but, less easier to walk down that way so if I can get away from that side I might be okay so I'm going to do it very stealthily obviously no fires just going to bring me Trangia with me because that's quiet so let's see if I can find a likely spot just come across the skull of an animal Probably a deer or something, it's quite big. And there's some vertebrae there. Yeah. It does seem much better over this side. A lot less rubbish, which leads me to believe they just, it's probably, you know, people, people pulling up in cars, you can actually pull up next to that spot over there, whereas you can't here. And there's not, no evidence of drinking or anything over this side, which would be good means they probably don't come over this side go in so far late at night oh I see one can looks like it's been there a while though yeah I wonder what do you reckon do you reckon I should do it here or find somewhere else so I definitely want to do it while I'm on the summer holidays have a stealth camp, wild camp. Been promising myself for years. Just haven't been able to get out, find the time. But um, I want to do it. So, but should I do it here? Answers down below. <laughs> Might catch it on a night when there's no one around. No para drinkers or boy racers. 
So, yeah. Just found a key. I haven't got my glasses on, I can't read that. Hang on. Let me get my bends out. Actually remember to bring them today. Right. Let's have a look. What does that say? Celebrating a thousand years. Got some sort of catch there. And uh, I think that's a mirror. Yeah, I wonder what that's a key to. Hmm. I have found a likely spot just through that gap there. Pretty tight, but this fallen tree acts as an excellent barrier. And it's all around as well. It was quite a struggle to get to this bit from that way. Let's move up a bit further. See what I mean? It is quite quite difficult and that's low down as well. I have to bend right down to get through there. So I'm getting into the realms of where people go. I want to go to this side of it to see where all the trash starts. Looks all right so far. Yeah. So around about here, I'm starting to see modern signs, signs of new trash. New rubbish being put here. What's that? Orange juice smoothies. Two of them. Let's go around here. See what's that? Oh. Yeah. This is the worst of it. Lots of nice firewood there. Somebody wants to collect it, but look at this. Someone's had a party here, yeah? and quite recently too. Cronenbergs, dark fruits, yeah. even a latte. So, can't go this side. Someone's had a dump here as well, I just left it. Hmm. This is the party area, I think. On the other side, it seems quite good. So I think I'll concentrate my efforts over that side. Right now, I'm feeling a bit peckish. Set the old transier up. Not uh, didn't bring any um, coffee today. I bought a beer, seeing as it's the beginnings of the summer holidays. So, yeah, I think I'll just sit down on that log. Looks like a nice spot. So, it's time. Time to crack one. What is it I've got? Feeling rather thirsty. Oh. More rubbish bag. I've taken my rubbish home with me. No worries about that. And this is Vocation, special edition, roll with it. You gotta roll with it, you gotta take it down. Yeah, 5.2, so still cold. Nice. Glasses are in the pocket, I can't read it. <laughs> Shall I read it? Nah. Just drink it, that's what I say. Let's get that trangia set up. That 
probably do some only do in um, tuna of Irish stew should be plenty got it going use that forgot to hit record but needless to say lit it instantly <laughs> That's what I got. Tin of Asda's Smart Price Irish Stew. Don't know what it's like. Passes the nose test. <laughs> the only thing I'm annoyed about is I forgot the bread. I was going to dip some bread in this. But there you go. Take rubbish with me. I like others. That oh, shouldn't take too long. Yeah, it tastes good. Good outdoor tucker. Looks alright, right, doesn't it? A couple of pieces of bread would have been better with it, but still. There we go. Cheers. It's good stuff. Limited edition too. Getting there. Just going to read it out of this as well. I'd have to get myself some more methylate spirits. I'm running quite low on that. And if I'm coming here overnight to do a stealth camp, and if there's any chance that other people are going to be on here on this roundabout, I've got to make sure I'm not seen. Singe the airs on my hand, my finger. This gets really hot really quickly. It's quite overcast today. We're nearly ready. I'd love to have had a couple of bits of bread in this. It's done. There we go, it's out. Time for some Irish stew. And there we have it. Looks good, doesn't it? I actually do like the look of that. Let's have some. Oh, 
good blimey, that's hot. <laughs> so what have we got in here? Carrots, peas. I'm not sure what meat it is. Carrots, peas. Maybe lamb. Not sure. Can't really tell, can you? I didn't read the tin. I think it's a bit sweet as well. Good thing about it here, <coughs> as well. Well, um, I've got a friend who lives about a mile, mile and a half away, and he said I could park in his driveway overnight while I while I come in and do the camp. That's always handy, so I don't have to leave a car uh, in the vicinity, which would be good. Bucks. Quite like this. It's good food. So this is nearly all gone now. That's nice. Good stuff. I like that a lot. <clears throat> like this a lot too. Vocation Special Edition Roll with it. DDH Pale Ale. 5.2%. Not too bad at all. Mmm. I've always liked it here. I've been coming here, I think my second or third video I ever made, I did here. And if you want to go and have a look at that, have a look. Just go right back to the beginning. Um, and I really liked it. And that was the first time I'd ever come here on that occasion. I had a cookout I was sitting on a big fallen tree over there somewhere. <clears throat> stir fry I think it was uh, actually I filmed it two days before Christmas 2019 just started the channel and uh, I didn't publish it until after Christmas because uh, in those days I used to play music for them and I put the music to it and it took me ages to write the music so I do like four bits of music for every, three or four bits of music for every video and that took time <laughs> so it didn't get published until after Christmas even though I filmed it two days before Christmas so. and I've always liked it I've done loads of videos here the video where I tested out the Miltech um, where I just bought it I did it here that happens to be my most viewed video <laughs> ever on my channel so I think it's only right that I do a stealth camp in here with that tent. And I think now's the time of year to do it. I'm just wondering about, you know, like, are people going to be coming on here having parties in the middle of the night? Because it is sort of in the middle of nowhere, even though it's really busy. So, yeah. I don't know. Leave me a comment. If I get 50 likes on this video, I, I will definitely do it. <laughs> How about that? And when I'm on the likes, I keep saying that I keep forgetting to say like the video and subscribe if you feel like subscribing. I don't. I don't always like saying it. I just hope you would do it anyway. You know. 
but uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this beer off because it is absolutely lovely, very refreshing. Last of it. It's a good beer. <coughs> Is this cool enough now? Like I said, if I do a stealth camp here, it won't be on this this side of the roundabout. It'll be on the other side. So I don't think anybody goes there. And I'll be using this for sure. No fires. Do not want to draw attention to myself. Right, and get packed away. I don't think, uh, you know, when I, I'd use the Trangia burner, but I would probably bring the uh, Bushbox XL to put it in. For the simple reason, in, the, the XL takes up hardly any space in the bag. And uh, if the push comes to shove and I had to have a fire, I can have a little fire in it, but I can control it. That's what I like about the Bushbox, is you can control the fire. But I don't really want it. If I'm, if I do, do the stealth camping here. I don't want to draw attention to myself by having a big fire. So we'll see. We'll see. What do you think? Let me know. I want you to. I want you lot to tell me what you want me to do. <laughs> if you want me to do a stealth camping here. If you all want me to stealth camping here. I'll do it. Been promising myself for years, well, for a couple of years to do it in here. Now I've got a bit of time, I should do it. Tell you what, I do really like these trainers I bought. Sketches trainers, so they're quite soft, you know, the sole's really bouncy on them. But they're uh, trail. Sketches trail, all terrain. Got a nice sole on them. Lots of tread on it. Very comfortable. And it does say water resistant, but uh, probably not waterproof. So all the time it's summertime, they'd probably be good for going for hikes in. Right. right, so I'm going to leave the video here and uh, just uh, just came in to do a bit of reconnaissance on the whole of this roundabout, um, whether there's a likely spot. Obviously not on this side, uh, but possibly on the other side. I might be able to hide away there with a my little Miltec tent and the camo net. Uh, so let me know what you think. Should I do a stealth camp here? Be interested to know. And uh, what I'll do is I'll see you next time when we're roving about, wherever it may be. See you soon. Bye.